Hello everybody and welcome to the decks of the weekend starting things off with Mono White Tron. This is the deck that Gavrila Costa topated with at the uh, Modern Monster in Pisa. I went to this tournament yesterday in Tuscany, 77 players, and my deck of choice was actually the one with a, a, a new card. I played Gruul Prowess with the new bird, uh, but uh, you know, I unfortunately couldn't finish. I had to play last round. I couldn't ID uh, and I lost it, but the, the deck was a ton of fun. Um, I look, definitely look forward to play this archetype with the new card coming out. But my deck of the weekend had to be this mono white Tron that this player uh, brought to the top 8. It is of course playing the 12 Tron land. It's basically using the mono blue Tron elements of uh, being a control deck using the Tron Lens to explode. So this is not one of those deck that, I mean, I guess not even Green Tron does it, but you don't have to Tron to win the game. You don't play uh, uh, um, Ancient Steerings and Sylvan Scrying to help you Tron. You can just play a land at a time, and then you just slowly get there. You play Eagles of the North, so you have basically 24 lands plus four map. That's a lot of lands, obviously you have access to, and even a Talisman. You're using, of course, the Karn Ring planned but you have a top end that is definitely different you're playing white sun zenith that is the uh not the uh the original one the one that shuffles in its deck uh it's it's the one that just plays uh, like a martial coup so if you if your x is bigger than five you kill every other creature and then of course you have uh, other things to, to to kill your opponent with you have Elish Norn and you even have Ulamog. All these one offs because you're playing with Search for Glory. That is another one off that you can use to search up a legendary card or a saga. Uh, in this case, legendary card are, of course, Ulamog, Elish Norn, Great Cenobite, Eugene, and you even have the One Ring and Karn. So a lot of your cards are legendary. Play Reprieve, Path to Exile, and Get Lost as your uh, protection spells. Um, you have. Unstable Glyph Bridge, which is a card that I have never read before. It's a five mana artifact that basically just wrath. Uh, you can you can wrath with it, uh, killing all the creatures that are bigger than you. Choose one creature that is less than two, and then you kill the rest. Um, and you also have portable holes. So white has access to these two tools, like black has Titan Blade, white has that portable hole, and then of course you have the rest in the uh, Karn package. So that is my deck for the weekend for Modern. Again, uh, that tournament was played in the final by Yogmot and Marco Del Piva on Domain Rhinos. He posted his list on his Twitter, so go check it out. Um, yeah, I mean, so far, Modern has been, uh, has been very diverse after the ban. Uh, nothing has really emerged. I was scared that Yogmot and Amulet would just push everything out. I don't think it happened like that. You have also Gorio as the top three decks, but it's still quite balanced. And the new set is on the horizon. Uh, not just Modern Horizon, but also actual the new set. As Again, I was able to play uh, the card on uh, um, in paper, but they're not on Magical Line yet. It'll be out uh, Wednesday. So yeah, Wednesday is when I'll be able to play, maybe Thursday, maybe Wednesday afternoon. So for me, Thursday morning. So I'll just have a couple of stream before going to Seattle to play with the new cards. But I'll, I'll try to put out as much content as I can as always I do on my uh, channel uh, that is mostly modern. Uh, let's uh, check out another format, another competitive format that is Pioneer. We have another uh, another strange deck uh, winning. This is the Niv Mizza to Light by Claudio H. Um, this is your uh, Urian uh, deck that... Uh, uh, has been around for a while and there's a couple of cards that can fit in the deck now with the new set. Uh, I would say that uh, a Pest Control is definitely gonna be a great one here. Black and White isn't co normally a combination that Nive to Light has and this is Cycling so I think that Pest Control will be good especially with you know you have Boris Convoke and you have uh, uh, just various decks with one drop. And another card that I think can fit the deck is Pillage the Bog. Now this is a black and green uh, impulse slash demonic tutor. And I think that uh, Niv 2 Light can fit this card in. Again, you can cast your Niv Misery Reborn. As you can see, this list plays zero black green card. Uh, so that could be uh, the first one to join the mix. Uh, this list is playing Valky with Bring to Light. 
You can also play Valkyrie with Jace soon in Pioneer, which I'm sure is gonna show up in um, in a big number. So that is something that you can look forward to. You can find a whole mana base, of course, in the description. You'll find all my uh, the, all the deck lists that I post as always. So uh, you can check that out. Uh, let's now hop into Popper. So. Um, I said that I would have gone, I would have done the uh, Popper Monday every week. Uh, I will do a, a weekly video for Popper, but I think it's better to do it Tuesday because sometimes Monday I don't make a gameplay video. Uh, if I'm a little bit light, I keep my daily uh, YouTube video. Uh, I just do the decks of the weekend like today. So I'm just gonna maybe move the, the Popper weekly video from Monday to Tuesday. So uh, if you're a Popper fan, you can still get your uh, one uh, uh, Popper video, your one Popper video a day there. Uh, what do we have here? Okay, so we have a Turbo Fog. So uh, if you've watched my Popper videos, I was never a fan of this deck. Although this deck, he just came second in a challenge and it is a deck that really uh, gets a lot of uh, attention whenever it gets played. So I think I may stream this deck um uh for my uh next videos uh what do we have going on here okay so um first thing first you just stop your opponent from winning the game you have tangle you have fog you have moments beast and you have weather the storm so you gain a ton of life you deny your opponent attack steps and you eventually win the game with stream of thought so you get extra land drop with growth spiral you draw extra cards with accumulate knowledge Behold the Multiverse, Lauren's Revealed, and Arcane Denial, because you actually can Arcane Denial your own spell. So what happens is, you go for example, Weather the Storm, X equal 3, X equal 4, whatever, and then you go Arcane Denial on your own copy of Weather the Storm, and by doing so, you draw 3 cards, because you do Contact Target Spell, it's Controller, may draw 2 cards, and also you draw a card. So in your next upkeep, you draw three extra cards. So you turn Arcane Denial into an Ancestral Recall, basically, if you counter your own spell. And with Storm, like Weather the Storm, or Duplicate, like Stream of Thought, uh, sorry, Replicate, you can do that for free, even. Of course, you can also counter your opponent's spell. That's kind of bad, because at the end you give them two cards, but sometimes you have to. And a very good addition to this deck, and why this deck is successful now, is Murmuring Mystic. Now, this is a... Uh, a card you can sight in and eventually just kill your opponent with. I think in paper you have to play more copies of this because obviously uh, decking out, sorry, timing is huge with this deck. I have a friend that plays this deck a lot and takes infinite draws at every tournament he goes. Uh, but ever since Murmuring Mystic was uh, printed common, he's he has like a better, a better record because he's able to close games, not just drawing the game where he basically locked into winning. So uh, I'm not gonna say, uh, oh, the Turbo Fog is deck of the week and I love this deck. I still like, despise this deck and one of the reasons why I don't like Popper sometimes, uh, but uh, it's gonna be maybe fun to play it and uh, uh, show you my anger towards this deck. <laughs> maybe online the opponent can see it faster, I don't know though, because in paper, because of Magical and I'm Popper leagues, they never concede. Uh, nonetheless, this is gonna be my uh, deck of the weekend for popper so thank you so much for watching and again this is my weekly video uh to kind of you know tell you what happened to me and what happened to these decks that i follow next week there won't be a deck of the weekend because i'll be in seattle doing the testing for the pro tour then i'll come back uh, i'll unpack everything and we'll see each other there but in the meanwhile one video a day on my channel check it out subscribe have a great day and rest of the week